Hello everyone and welcome. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, depending on where you are joining us from around the world. My name is Daksha Ramjuan and I am your host today on the Red Corner Show. Today we are honored to welcome an extraordinary guest to the Red Corner Show, Magdalene Minar. Magdalene, welcome and please provide a short intro to who Magdalene Minar is. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> um, I'm Magdalene. I'm living in a small community in Overafe, and I'm married um, for 29 years with my husband Daniel Mana, and have two wonderful children, and two current children, and one on his way. And um, yeah, uh, that is me. I'm living in this small community, Overafe. Um, yeah, and I'm the founder of The Little Wolves. Yes, uh, I've read so much about your background and who you are and, you know, you're doing fantastic work. So you are the founder of Little Wolves Development and Feeding Scheme NPC. What inspired you to start Little Wolves Development and what challenges did you face in the early stages? Okay, what challenge, what had inspired me in a uh, wolverine? I was a ex a stylist for many years and I was still working in um, in the industry. I then um, was my off days was on Mondays. So um, and then I actually come to realize that on uh, children is actually going without a lunch box to school. And at that stage the schools didn't have a feeding team at school. So which means that they had to go hungry to school come back home and no food. Some of their mothers was working and uh, then the kids had to stay home alone. And then I um, ex uh, decided to uh, talk to my husband and decided to start and make a, uh, with sandwiches for the kids mm -hmm. uh, to take to school. I then, uh, that was only on Mondays. I then uh, uh, started to make uh, sandwiches in the evening. So in the morning, they came and fetched their sandwiches and the fruit from me before I leave to go to work uh, and I, oh, sometimes I um, left uh, work very early and then I left a basket in front of the house with sandwiches and each one's names on it to make it uh, personal you know yeah. so they can feel it is not just a sandwich mm -hmm. but it's special for each of them with the names mm -hmm. on and uh, I then later become sick um, and uh, stayed at home not working anymore and I was so uh, depressed and um, then actually by start to make food for the kids inspired me also you understand so it also give me something and take my uh, away from my own uh, what I went through and uh, so they also helped me I helped them and they helped me so that this was the, the, the this was the first um, in the beginning my challenges to um, how to uh, uh, continue with this uh, because working with children and I realize you can't just stop doing what you are doing mm. um, yeah. one day doing something and the next day not doing it so me and my husband um, talk about it and then uh, financially it was actually a struggle. Um, and then uh, uh, somebody come on board and ask me if they can help uh, uh, with, you know, providing some um, ingredients to provide for the kids. So that is what the beginning was very difficult, but we get through it. Uh, sometimes just from anywhere somebody come and hear about what I was doing in Wolverine and people just come on board in this support this and so wonderful you know there's so much wonderful people out there that you don't really always realize yes. um but yes without this those people in the beginning i couldn't or we couldn't do it and yeah and from there on it it just continue what we are doing still doing today that's so special because you know like you mentioned what you went through and the little that yeah. you had but you made it work 
and you know that just yeah. shows how committed you are it, it wasn't you know um i'm doing it for a certain reason it was the goodness out of your heart so well done yeah. that's really really thank special. you very much thank you thank you very so, much so magdalene you know you were a recipient of the wonder of women in 2023 how did it feel to be recognized and how has this recognition influenced your work and mission well i never saw it coming i never um i never think of an award mm-hmm. i heard about the uh, um the woman who won the award i read about it and but i never thought ever thought that i would be one of these wonder women <laughs> so yes. um it really it was um very i'm very proud um and i'm very i feel very privileged um to receive the award and award really makes me uh to and, and the awards itself inspired other women and myself because sometimes we um we don't uh we don't do any something like that for doing things in the community and helping people you never expect to receive an award it yeah. never if ever come to my thought but to um to receive it it was really for me it was um to be recognized from other women and as a woman um and as a, a woman who's working in a community for me is it it was really uh something really big and it inspires me um still every day and the award stand in a place in my house where i look in it at it every day you know i i so really it, believe it it inspires me it, it's a it's a proud moment and you know i was actually speaking yeah. to a wonderful lady uh yesterday and um you know she gave me some advice and she was just saying as a woman we we tend to think about things too much we we think we're not yeah. deserving um when someone um tells us we look good we brush it off and we babble on and we just say that oh no it's something old that we wear in or you know we, we don't thank them and yeah. um like what you're saying you didn't think that you were deserving of the award but you know your work spoke volumes and is speaking volumes and you are deserving definitely and you know you, it's Thank just you. people um recognizing the work that you're doing and the commitment to um your community so well done and you are very deserving of it thank you very much <laughs> so, thank you very so, much as a community leader in Volvo Refier what are some of the key initiatives you are currently working on and how do you involve the community in these projects um some of my key initiatives in Wolverfeer is um we have a little wolf nature club where children get the opportunity to learn more about the nature um which they never have the privilege or the opportunities mm-hmm. to learn more about nature about animals about themselves um some of the children never never knew that uh, about the nature that they learn about nature which they never knew mm-hmm. they saw animals they uh, but they they um it opened up a whole new world for them and because i so much love a nature lover is because now the children is involved in it so that is one of my biggest um um projects in the community and always to involve the children and the parents together with the parents because i feel without the parents um it's no use you involve the children and not involve the, the parents so involve the parents in it and with the planning of going uh for out for the day or and not just uh going out to a nature reserve or whatsoever but also to educate the kids at home and children educate their parents at home um you know for my me is something big and a lot of uh, children do have uh, dogs at home and how to um to look after the the dogs to bath them and feed them make sure they are fed 
and make sure and was was the uh, 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 nature was when the weather and uh, winter cold and now in South Africa how to keep also the animals warm so um like I say like in summertime it's also very hot in our community because there's no trees in our community um so um also the kids to take care of, of the little birds um coming into so most of them have um pounds for the for the birds also and to whoever dog or animal it is to give them water and to take care of, of them um and then we also have a biking school where we teach the kids how to bike um like cupcakes whatever to cheesecakes anything uh to teach them and that is not just for biking but it also help them with their mathematics you know yes. so they get to weigh their own the flour the sugar whatever the recipe say and it also teach they help them with the reading mm-hmm. how to read um a recipe you understand how to read a recipe it all all education um okay. yeah and um uh, yeah involve them was uh, we have um every um uh, school holiday we have uh, community clean up so they can learn to responsibility to keep it clean around them to keep nature the uh, environment uh, clean uh, for everybody so uh, yeah to take care of of them it actually educate themselves it, it educates the parents um for most of our community where we live in for some of the people it's not important to have that you know they mm-hmm. don't see the importance of it and how it can help with the climate change and everything you know so that actually help they educate our community um not just uh, our children but also yeah the whole community i think it's so important for um us you know to share our knowledge and to educate people yeah. and it's such a special thing that you're doing so you know as it is women's month in south africa what message do you have for women across the globe on this women's day especially those who aspire to make a difference in their communities well i i can i can say to them is to firstly take care of yourself um to take care of yourself you can ex- inspire other women and to always listen to your heart and yeah and to yeah to to whatever you you do is to do it with love mm-hmm. and to 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 spread love out there to to it's very important to listen to other people and it's very important to listen to yourself yes and yeah it's very important to listen to yourself very important to listen when people is talking to you and um never to give up never let anyone or anything make you feel that you are not worth it mm-hmm. for yeah. sure you know self care and self love is so important because you have to love yourself and take care of yourself first before yeah. doing that for other people or your community yeah. so that that's an incredible message to everyone out there so how do you balance your responsibilities as a founder community leader and any personal commitments you have well i have a wonderful husband like i say and children and who always supports me uh, without my husband I don't think it can I could be possible mm-hmm. because he is the one when I sometimes feel down who supports me in this and I have a wonderful daughter and a son who really is, uh, supports me um without them I really couldn't do it and I have a very uh, uh good support uh, system with uh, organizations and family members and friends and strangers without their support um is very important without their support i don't think i could have done that even if i have it in me and want to do make a change and want to do things without them um 
So I have to give them the credit. They really inspire me and help me to do what I can do. It's definitely about having the right support structure. And, you know, when you have that that sense of support and like-minded people around you, you can achieve so much more. Yes, yes, definitely, so, yes. So Magdalene, you know, what are your future goals for Little Worlds um, and how do you plan to achieve them? Tell us, how can one get involved? How can us as the audience support you? Um, what do you need? Tell us, how, how can we get involved? Um, always, uh, financial support um, my uh, future dreams for little fools is to a care center and a learning center in the community where the children can go and do research where they can be fed from this uh, center where anyone can come and help um, women to educate themselves to to be a support for women to help them uh, to um, create, uh, uh, to prepare them for job opportunities mm -hmm. and to um, a place where they can to help them, where they can uh, um, throw up their CVs um, and a support system where we can have programs with women um, and children and to um, yeah to like i say and with other organizations if they can come on board and help us and support us then this really would really be a huge help for the rivals in the and and they would definitely then get in contact with you directly yes okay awesome so here it is everyone we do hope that we can lend a helping hand to Magdalene and please do reach out to her and get involved into Little Wolves. Um, you know, she's doing amazing work and congratulations once again. So Magdalene, Thank what you. are some of the unique challenges you believe women leaders face today? Uh, how did you overcome challenges that you faced? Um, to believe in myself. To believe that to believe in that I can do it with the support system that I have um, not to give up um, sometimes it really is not easy um, but what I would say to other women out there is to get involved in the communities um, without a you can't without a community you can you can do it you um yeah to reach out to people around you to you see i can say to just be there for each other mm -hmm. to to be it's not always to help somebody's financial or to give something to, to somebody but to be a supporter to listen to somebody to take your to just to be there for somebody else for for another woman mm -hmm. just be there just to be a, a, a ear for them just to listen to them yes just to be there to feel to make another woman safe to inspire that woman to say look if I can do it you can do it never give up on yourself that's such great advice and you know just to add on to that it's all about partnering and collaborating yeah and if we stand by one another and work together we can make a bigger difference in our community yes yes definitely yes and you know i think um as well we can seek mentorship from one another because it's all about learning yeah. right um all about we learning wanna, we want to learn from one another and not not only grow ourselves but grow people around us that we know of yeah so, Mentorship yeah. is quite important as well. Yes, very, very important. Mentorship is very important. It is a daily, um, to me, how other women hold me every day, um, wherever I am. Um, it's always other women inspired me on a daily basis. Yes, 
Well, Magdalene, it was so nice chatting to you. I wish you all the best on your journey. Um, I pray for you and um, you, you know, much. sending you lots of love. You're doing such amazing work and um, you've really inspired me and I hope you've inspired many other people as well to contact you and get involved. So we look forward to seeing thank the continued impact of your efforts and thank you once again. Thank you very much for to make me part of this and opportunity and thank you very much. It's only a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to be on the Red Corner Show, you can reach out to us on redcornershow at gmail.com. Um, happy Women's Month to all our powerhouse women out there. And we hope you have a wonderful Women's Month. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye.